Hi guys, I have tried filming a movie recommendations video. Also, sorry I look like crap. I'll get to that in a bit. Oh my god, that's funny. A movie recommendations video three times all today and I've just given up. I mean, I'm going to do it later today. Maybe. Maybe I'll film it tomorrow. But... For today, I wanted to do a kind of late, because school started a few months ago, what's in my backpack. Um, but I think that it's better to do these, like, later on in the year, because the first day of school, your backpack looks the best, and everything in it just looks so great, you know? And that isn't always accurate, because, sure as hell, in a month or two, Everything's gonna be fucked, completely fucked. So, I wanted to do a video of what's in my backpack. Also because I, I wanted to do it now also because I have such an adorable backpack. I have, literally think of the most popular backpack at any moment. Brand? You know what I'm thinking? Color. I have it. I have it. Not to brag, but I do have the Ochre Fjall Robin Konkin. I love these bad boys so much. They are kind of pricey. They're like $70 on Urban Outfitters. That's where I got mine from, FYI. Don't get them on Amazon and stuff because some of them are fake. And although they are like $15 to $20 cheaper, don't get them from there. And I also wanted to do it now because I have very adorable pins on here that I didn't a few months ago. So, I'm going to do this right now. So, my bad boy is kind of heavy right now because I took almost everything from my locker home. Because over break, I was like, hey, I'm just going to get caught up on everything. And it's also a perfect time to film this because it is all great. So, this is the Fjall Robin Konkin, like I said, in the ochre color. And I have 11 pins here and then more pins on the back strap. Yeah, this is a very great backpack. Sorry to be all art ho on you, but it's just a really good backpack. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to obviously start off with is the pins. Jesus, it's so heavy. So I have a good amount of pins on here. Now, all of these come from Plato's Closet, except, oh my god, all of these come from Plato's Closet, except for a few. I'm going to just scoot up closer, actually. So, this is a little rainbow from Plato's Closet. Oh, this little uh, palm tree looking leaf thingy comes from Wish. All of these you can get from Wish, I think, actually. Um, this one is like a little flower, it says yes or no. And then this is a little vintage car that reminds me of Greece. This is a little doggo. Um, if they're all from Plato's Closet, I'm not going to say otherwise. This American flag is from the dollar store. This is one of my favorite ones. It's a succulent. This one is my favorite one of all time. It's a Central Park one that I got from Warner Brothers Studios when I toured there during the summer. And there's a little rollerblade and a little bear holding a punk, holding a banana. And then Ariel. That is from a, the Disney store um, on Hollywood Boulevard, I believe. Yeah. I think there's a... I know it was on Hollywood Boulevard. Anyway... And then on the back, some of these kind of need to be updated, but I have a McDonald's pin. Don't ask why, but I, yeah. And then I have one that says Eek that I got from Target Dollar Spot, and I kind of need to get a Christmas one to replace it, but you know what, whatever. And then I have a suit of the month pin that I won because just so great. So... I'm going to start off with this side. I'm not going to... This is open. I'm not going to go into what is in my pencil case, but this is a pencil case shaped like an eyeglass thing. It's tin. It's it's metal. It's solid. It's not the cutest pattern, but I got this from Daiso when I was also there. And it's super cute. My parents are out fighting, but that's okay. Let's not listen to that. Uh, this is 150 and I really like it. It holds everything I need. It's small and compact. And then if you open up the bad boy front pocket, I have 
one of these things with hair in it. That's that's gross. Um, I have like a little mirror brush. Let me blind you. Look, you can see my Polaroid. Can you see anything else? Oh my god, whoa. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so fascinated by this. I keep this in my bedroom because you know your hair gets nasty. Then it gets nasty. Deodorant because if your pits get nasty, then they get nasty. Okay, this is kind of weird. But I have this little thingy. Um, it's just little scissors. I've never used it. Thanks. And then I have my handy dandy Carmax. Literally, all you need. I have some gum wrappers. Since why I'm here, let me just throw these away. Anyway, I'm gonna put all these back away now, and then we're gonna get into it. I tried to film this video a while ago. It was too long, so I couldn't upload it, which is very sad. I'm like six minutes and I haven't even gotten into it. Okay, let's help this bad boy out. You guys all seen it, so I'm not going to show you. But basically, it unzips differently from the little backpacks and you can lay it completely out. So, I have Jane Eyre, which is a book that I have to read for school. I'm on chapter 18 right now. Hit me up if you are to. Actually, please don't do that. And then... Let's start with my main binder. Um, I don't like carrying a lot of stuff, so I just have two binders. And the other one is because my teacher required it. If they didn't require it, I would all put this in one binder. This is a one inch binder. Um, I know I should get one and a half inch, but I've just always used one inch. And it looks kind of weir weird if I use the other one. This is a little printout from the infinite in from the famous IKEA bed sheets, which I have. You can see right there. I have those bad boys because we're at home. Um, yeah. This is an Avery binder, though I really don't think anyone cares. But I take all my notes in. This is my holy grail. This is a notebook from Mead. Um, and it's like kind of like a moleskin. as like a thin thingy here that has my actual phone number on it. And then, you know, I just, you know, I just take notes, you know, you know. I'm going to do a whole separate video on that, so I'm not going to go into it. And then I have, oh no, it's from Exceed, not Mead. I was thinking Mead, because I have this from Mead. This is where I put, like, papers that um, aren't, like, class-related. Like, this is for National, National Junior Honor Society and stuff like that. Sorry, I got a Snapchat. Ha, I'm famous. Cool. Ha. So yeah, and then I have these folders from Dollar Spot in Target, and um, I use them for three of my main classes because one of them is in a different binder. But basically, yeah, I'm gonna do a whole video on binder organization, probably right after this one. And yeah, so three of those are for that, and then the fourth one is for regular line paper, which I kind of use restock. And then the other one is for this paper. And then for grid paper. And then this one, this little bad boy, is a notebook that I got from Daiso as well. I know, this is a complete mess. And I use this as my planner slash bullet journal, but it's not dotted print. And I do have a bullet journal, but this one's just small and I can keep it in here. And it's perfect for school. Yeah, I don't really keep that much in my binders. And then the last one, which I'm going to do zoom zoom real quick, is another one inch binder, but it doesn't have nearly enough stuff in it because it's just for one class. This is my English binder. I'm in honors English. I'm a smarty pants. Anyways, so my teacher required us to get things like this, which I wouldn't if I were in this class. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you see his name? Hopefully not, but he just has this organize it into different things and then we do stuff with it anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was kind of half-assed and stuff like that but you girls gotta do what you girls gotta do ew why did i say that anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe i literally have zero subscribers right now so if you do that that'd be great honestly i'd love you forever like, no joke, I would. Like, I would appreciate that so very mucho. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Bye.